I have gone through and applied the metal ray materials to finish up my texturing process and also I have fixed my garden beds make it look nice and tidy so you can apply um, this kind of plants there are a variety of uh, plants uh, available for you to choose it is under go to the create panel select AEC extended then click the foliage you can see um, number of plant available for you to choose and just drag it and drop and under the modify panel even you can edit it, it further it's so simple I'll let you do I'll let you guys to experiment that one in this video um, mainly what I want to show um, it's very important I want to show how to make it a rend um, like a presentable um, renderer um, with a daylight system uh, let's okay let's delete the lights I'm going to establish the daylight system light to make a nice renderer yeah it looks like uh, there's one more light Let me see. Okay, I'm going to delete all the light then I'll back to my default setting what I'll do first um, I'm going to set the light before I'm going to set the light what I'll do I'm, I'm going to expand my if I render it now it's really small let me show you guys I want to render with the white angle it's render it's take a bit of time okay I want to make it more wider okay, this surrender rendered one still rendering give it a second I want to uh, make it more wider I want to cut it up this area and this area and make it more wider what I'll do I'm going to go to the render setup at the moment uh, I'm with this I'm rendering with the 640 by 480 what I'll do to uh, for the width I'll make it 1200 then in the perspective I'm going to assign show safe render show safe frame then I'm, I'm going to adjust the view that I want rendered and I'm going to assign the camera first okay okay when I rendered I want to render in this angle to assign the camera to this angle it's really easy what you got to do control C okay it was perspective I'll undo it was see now it is perspective by pressing control C you assign the camera then what I'll do control W in this view I'll change it to camera view and this view I'll change it to perspective view is this one then you can see the camera that I have assigned even you can change this one to all you can select the camera and adjust it over here while you adjusting you can see the camera angle is changing okay here we go you can do fine tuning editing in the perspective view okay then what I'll do I want to assign the uh, daylight system metal ray daylight system I go to the create system daylight system okay this um, is asking the exposure control for change okay press yes then what I'll do I go to my top view Create the daylight system and release. Drag my mouse over there, top, and another one more click. What it does is 
establish the daylight system. Let me show the daylight system light, which is this one. Okay. Then uh, let's see what happened once I render. I select my camera view. Let's render. It will take a bit of time to render. Here we go. Okay, it's look better. Looks like uh, a little bit move it. Uh, I want a bit move it down the camera, but what I want to do first, I want to lock uh, lock my rendered view to the camera one. This is my camera one. I want to lock it down. Okay. Whenever I render, it doesn't matter uh, if I'm in the perspective view, top view, or when I um, ask it to render, it will render my camera view by locking it down. I'll do I'm going to put my camera. I'm going to put down my camera. Lift it up. Okay. Then what I can do, I'm going to select my daylight system. I'm going to assign the sunlight. I'm under the modify. To my daylight system, I'm going to assign the metal ray sun and to the sky. I'm going to assign the metal ray sky. Press yes. Then, if I render now, you can see metal ray sun and the sky is being assigned. Now it's look much clear. It is really good way to make it the. Uh, like a presentable render to show your client. It's looking really nice now. What I'll do, I'm going to close this one. Go to select. I, I'll show you a little bit of a more editing technique uh, with the daylight system. Select uh, the daylight system and click setup. Then under here, you can um, assign a specific specific time it to be rendered. It's a, see the hour. I'm going to put 14. That means in the evening. And now it's my shadow is coming from this direction. I can see the shadow over here, but I would like to um, my sum come from this direction. What you should do, um, you can change. Okay, you can change the north direction. See, which is this one. It will rotate the sun, which is the which is this light. As it is rotating, you can see the shadow it is being moving. Direction also, you can change the longitude and latitude. Here we go. You can do the fine tuning, guys. Leave it like that. Then, not only that, you can um, with this get location. You can specify the different country countries. Check it out. Okay, if you want to find the Australia, should be here. Ancient Australia, which is under here.
check it out what you can do with this one. It's really cool. Then I want to show another one more thing. Rendering, go to the exposure control. You can light it up, you can do the fine tuning in here too. Um, first, uh, for the exposure control, in here, exposure control, there are some presets available. The outdoor night, indoor day, daylight. You can um, select these uh, presets if you want to. And also, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, fine tune. I just quickly rendered this uh, small preview view, uh, window available for you to check it up. As you render in, this will change. Okay, it's been rendered now. I want to light up a little bit. As you um, reducing the exposure value, it will light up. See, now it's uh, exposure value is 12. It's like a so light up. It's too much. I'll put it to 14. Then what I'll do, then I render it again. Okay, it's great. It's much clearer. If you want, you can reduce down this exposure control a little bit. 